My name is Ashley Eckert. I am the extension agent in Golden Valley and part of Billings County in Western North Dakota. And today we're going to talk about a little bit about uh, flower pot design and how we can pick out what we want to put into those pots as we get ready for um, spring as we're all getting a little antsy after the long winter to get some pretty flowers in our lives, especially during this uh, time of the COVID-19 pandemic as we're looking to find some bright spots and some happiness. Uh, part of our distance learning today, I have my son with me. This is Gus. He's going to help me do the planting. He's a 4-H member here in Golden Valley County, and he uh, does horticulture as one of his 4-H projects. So we're going to learn a little bit. He's going to help me with the transplanting as we do the video today. Um, so what I'm using for a planter is something a little bit non-traditional. What I did was I was at a local box uh, home improvement store, and I found this three-tiered stand that's actually meant for a kitchen or a bathroom and I bought some coconut fiber inserts and stuck those in there and we're going to make a three-tiered planter today and as part of this we're going and what I did was we just filled these planters with a regular potting medium nothing fancy about the potting medium and then that potting medium we just have I mixed it in a bucket with some water so it's just nicely damp it just barely holds together when you give it a squeeze but it doesn't completely fall back apart so how do you decide what it is that you want to put into your planters? Um, the main method that you use to do that is called the thriller, filler, and spiller method. And so you want the thriller is something tall with some interest, some visual interest, something that's going to dry your eye to the pot. In the case of today's planting, I'm going to use this regal geranium. Um, this is a regal elegance Martha Washington geranium. So we're going to use that. I want, can we put it over on this side? I think we can. All right, so let's go ahead and find a hole. We're going to break up the roots just a little bit as we go ahead and do this. And go ahead and I'll help you build the hole. You go ahead and stick it in there. And then cover up that top. Most of our dirt is... It's all right. We're filling it up with the dirt that was around the geranium roots to begin with. Okay. So, and then can we water that in? We'll just take and water in each of these transplants a little bit as we do them. Now, because of how these grow, I don't plan on actually putting a filler in this particular basket. My lower two baskets are gonna have more of my filler for this particular design. Now, when we were trying to decide on these designs, what we did was we actually set up a three-tiered um, footstool and we set different plans on there to figure out which color scheme that we wanted to go with. And so the color scheme that we're using today is starting out on purple with purple on top, going to a light yellow on the bottom, and is going to have some purple and yellow and pink and pinks and yellows in the middle. So that just kind of shows you our scheme. Um, and you can see that these other um, ones that we had looked at and chose, and that's something that you can do at home too is or as you're going to the greenhouses, you can set together the plants that you're thinking about for a planter and see if they look the way that you're envisioning in your mind as you're picking out which plants to purchase at your local greenhouse or nursery. So we want to finish this one out. We want a spiller. We're going to put our spiller on top and we're going to use a vinca vine today. Ooh. And we're going to put the vinca vine right here beside this geranium that will come down over the side of our planter and hopefully throughout the summer we'll fill in all the way down here onto the side. So this is the spiller aspect of our planter today. Yeah, break those roots up just a little bit so that way they're not circling and will spread out within the soil. Go ahead and pop that buddy in there. Let's train that vine to come over the side. Go ahead and put it in, cover it up with a little bit of extra dirt. Want to give it some water, bud? Yep. Okay, now I'm going to wait to hang this guy back up till we get our whole planter redone. So there's our top, and there's our top. It's got our thriller and our spiller. And now we'll do a couple with our fillers. Um, 
But I'm gonna wait to hang this back up on our planter and to do the whole thing until we get them all done. I'm a little nervous that this might take a tumble off of my shelf back here. All right, so basket number two. Now these are roughly, it's hard to tell on these ovals, but these are roughly 10 to 12 inch baskets. Um, I ended up having to use a 12 inch uh, coconut fiber in order to make that fit. So in a 12, to, so in a 10 to 12 inch, I would suggest about three plants in there to let those really fill out well. So in our middle one, we're gonna use three to four plants. And in our middle one, we're gonna use some of these crazy tunias. We're just gonna put a couple in. Can you put, the, put those two in the back? Mm -hmm. In the, can you, we put them in the back? Like back oh, here? Oh, I thought that was the back. No, let's go back here by you. Oh, okay. And these are more of a bunching petunia. So these are going to uh, fill in and bunch. And then in this basket also to kind of, this is our transition basket from between purples to yellows. And we're also going to put in there uh, some calibre, a couple of calibrecoa plants. So we're going to put four in this basket. And these are a calibrecoa that are yellow and pink. So do you want to put these kind of in the sides off on the front so they'll grow together, buddy? Mm -hmm. Right. Do you want to give this basket a little bit of water while I get the next one off the hanger? Yeah. Okay, let's just set this one down here as well. And then our last basket, what we're going to put in here is about three plants. And these are a pet koa plant. They're part petunia and part calibrecoa. So as you can see, we also have a little bit of a theme. And I would put these in a triangle shape, two in front and one in the back. And these are going to be more filler. So as these grow and bunch, the planter should fill out in the middle two, should vine off of the top and spill, and then have our thriller with our geranium on the top. Um, so we're going to put three of these pet koas in here. And this should complete our transition of color as well, from purples to pink, or from purples to yellows. And again, I'm just breaking up these roots a little bit so they're not, don't continue to circle and will spread out in our soil, in our pot. Okay, you want to water that one in? We always want to make sure we water them in so they're good and watered to begin with. Now I'm going to put these plants, I'm going to hang these baskets back up on our planter so you guys can see the finished out, the finished look when we're done. And then uh, when we're done today, before we, before we quit here for our work in the greenhouse today, I am going to take it, I'm going to cut all of these plants back. And I'm going to cut these back about like this, cut off all the blossoms, cut a couple inches below the blossoms, and that will help these plants grow and fill out so they fill into our pots. So it seems like it's a little drastic to take that much off, but as long as you keep your growing points and some new blossoms coming, these plants will just continue to fill in and you'll have a uh, finished basket that looks full at the once you guys get into later parts of the summer. Now I'm planting these today and these will be staying in a greenhouse until probably about the 15th or 20th of May, depending on the weather forecast. That is the finished product with our thriller, our spiller, and our fillers coming down the planter. And uh, we're going to just let this go um, until throughout the summer and see how this does for us. And it also shows how you can take something that's not meant to be a planter and turn it into a unique piece. Um, I plan to set this one by my front porch, on my by my front door on my front porch. So this is just an idea of something that you guys can do as you guys are looking at um, filling your planters or filling your pots. Or maybe you have a patio balcony and have just a spot where you could have just a few flowers or plants. One thing you can also do if you're looking to do um, some plants but want a vegetable as well, you could also make your thriller like this, a tomato plant like these. Um, this is a bigger tomato. I wouldn't rec necessarily recommend this one, but a smaller bush cherry tomato plant would make a beautiful thriller. And then you could put some spillers and fillers that are flowers and greenery in the bottom. So you have something edible in with your 
um, flowers on a, in a small porch or patio area. If you guys have any questions on flower pot design or on um, how, you, how you would go about doing something like this, please contact your local extension office. Thank you.